But that's not why we're filming a video on her. We're filming a video on her because a lot of the stuff she pushes out is nonsense. And if there's one thing I don't like, it's cardio. If there's another thing I don't like, it's nonsense. Well, considering the last video did far better than expected, I figured maybe I should take something away from that and perhaps TFNL should go back to its roots. So ultimately, if you know the brand, if you know TFNL, you came from either the Gymshark video or a video surrounding a booty build or influencer. And the initial kind of concept of TFNL was to eliminate some, or at least try to eliminate some of the BS in the industry. And as TFNL progressed, I think I kind of lost sight of that to some degree and was constantly trying to find new things and different things to kind of fill the channel with to prevent people from getting bored. But in reality, it's seems that most people actually like what we started doing and it makes sense for me to continue to do that. If there is something you want to see, let me know. So if we reach 120 likes on the video, I'll make another one like this. But I'd also appreciate if you drop a comment down below and just let me know if that's the kind of thing you want to see, which is primarily going to be raw source and eliminating BS in the industry, which is what we're going to do today with Tammy Hembrow. So someone I've actually spoken about before, I reviewed or kind of reacted to one of her home workouts over the uh, summer period. She's a popular name. I'd seen some of her stuff and I thought, you know what, this has annoyed me. Let's have a look at it. We're gonna talk about her. We're gonna talk about who she is. We're gonna talk about everything about her. And we're gonna assess whether she's actually brass or bless regarding content and BS. First things first, uh, I thought she was a lot older than she actually is. She's actually my age, which is uh, embarrassing because she's far more successful than I could ever imagine to be at this age and far more successful than I actually am. F's in the chat, please. But that's not why we're filming a video on her. We're filming a video on her because a lot of the stuff she pushes out is nonsense. And if there's one thing I don't like, it's cardio. If there's another thing I don't like, it's nonsense. According, according to the internet, she uh, rose to fame, <laughs> fame in 2012 as a pre and post pregnancy fitness guru. Uh, if you use the word guru to describe yourself in any means, sort your life out because that's not gonna fly. Uh, you're not a guru, mate. Austin Powers is the closest thing to a guru I've ever seen, so please don't disrespect him. And apparently her dad's a famous actor. Can't be that famous, I've never heard of him. Also can't be that famous, he's never been in one of the Marvel movies I've watched a hundred times or Fast and Furious movies I've watched a thousand times. So if you're not in any of those movies, I don't know who you are. She is a fitness influencer, that's what I'm gonna call her. And she's sponsored by one of our favorite brands, Women's Best, a brand I've actually done a video on in the past. So if you scroll through the TFNL archives, you'll find it. And you're gonna like that video as well because it makes me feel better about myself. It makes me feel like I should do it again. She's very popular on Instagram. She's rather popular on YouTube as well. As a whole, she's quite popular. And as you'll see through most of her videos, which will probably be flashy up on the screen as we speak, it's all the same nonsense. It's all the same generic cable kit backs, booty bands, ankle weight. It's just all this stuff and I'm just so sick of seeing it because it's been around for so many years. And even though I thought they were dying out, apparently I've been informed they're not, they're still thriving which upsets me, which means they're also gonna continue to push the same nonsense they've been pushing since Body Power 2014. You go on a page, it's something with a booty band on. Something that doesn't need to incorporate a booty band is now incorporating a booty band. I mean, she's doing squats with a booty band. And yeah, in some instances, I can understand why. Because it does target the glutes slightly more effectively because you are getting that external rotation. I kind of felt like the primary purpose of a squat, especially if it's gonna be your main compound movement of that session, should be overload and going heavy and doing it properly. Her depth is there, she's reasonably strong, so she's got all the things in place needed to get a juicy squat going, but she's just slapping on a booty band and doing some utter nonsense with ankle things around her ankles as well. Granted, they're probably for her cable kickback superset that's coming up later, but I'm not sold. I think that's one of the issues I kind of have with that type of training, we'll say, if that's what you can call it, like a type of training, is that it's just repeating other people's stuff from different angles. I mean, if I had the facilities, I would recreate it right now for you. All you really need is a booty band and either ankle weights or ankle attachments for the cable, which you're obviously gonna use for a superset. Once you've done that, and once you've obviously promoted the booty bands you're using and the ones you're probably selling from your own company, you're laughing, you're basically there. I think one of the issues with that is because it's worked for so many people in the past, and it likely will work for so many people in the future, it's just gonna become a process of repeating and repeating and repeating, 
more and more booty builders come on the scene because they're doing the same thing the last one did. But the only difference is the booty bands are a different color, they've got a different name on them, and perhaps they've got different resistance, but who knows? Once you've got those things in place, all you need to do is slap on a juicy camera angle that makes your glutes look fat and then you're laughing. The only reason I'm so salty about it is because no camera angle can make my glutes look fat. They are dead glutes for a reason, and that upsets me. But it's okay, I'm working on it. Not really, but I probably should. Like, as a whole, if you're training, I respect that and I appreciate you. If you're trying to better your life in some means, regardless of how you're doing so, I appreciate you. If training is your release, which it is for many, and going to the gym and doing booty building workouts helps you, then I appreciate that and I respect that. All I'm saying is I don't think it's for everyone. When you push this information, especially when you have such a large platform and following, a lot of people fall into that false belief that this is the only way to build the body, when it's not. A lot of great female powerlifters have really well-developed lower bodies from basic compound movements and accessory work. Squats, deadlifts, glute bridges, split squats, lunges, things like that, and you're laughing, especially when you're slapping on some decent weight, going through a solid range of motion and not really adding unnecessary BS like ankle weights or cable kickbacks into the mix. If you consider how strong and powerful the glutes actually are as a muscle group, when you're doing a cable kickback with five kilos versus squatting or deadlifting double, maybe even triple digits, which do you really think is gonna benefit the development of your glutes more? You've gotta consider range of motion and ability to progressively overload. Again, I understand not everyone wants to train like that, and I understand that doesn't appeal to everyone. In all honesty, I don't particularly like training for powerlifting, hence why I stopped powerlifting. There are other things you can do. You don't just have to squat and deadlift to build your glutes. You can do other movements, but you can also do movements that really encourage progressive overload and movements that really utilize a significant amount of weight for your strength level, rather than just relying on your body weight with a bit of elastic around your knees. And unfortunately, one of the biggest questions you have when you see movements like this and workouts like this is, are you really training like that yourself? Because just because they're posting it online doesn't mean they're doing it themselves. More often than not, they're probably posting one set of everything they do just to get content before cracking on with their actual workout or never repeating that same workout again. Because it looks good on the gram, but does it really hold up regarding how effective it is? In theory, if you do anything with sufficient intensity and hard enough, you're probably gonna make some kind of progress provided other variables are in place, i.e. diet, sleep, etc. Are you optimizing your gains? Probably not. At the end of the day, if you enjoy what you're doing, that should be the primary factor because you're more likely to succeed at something and be consistent with something if you actually enjoy it. But don't be fooled into believing that Tammy's workout examples are what she believes to be best for your goals because she doesn't actually know your goals, only you do, unless you've spoken to her, then it's a bit different. You've always got to consider the underlying message there, which is this is gonna be seen by more people if I do it from this angle, which means more people might see what I'm promoting, which means more people might buy it, therefore I'll make more money. The harsh reality is Tammy is just trying to sell you a dream-like workout that looks good because it'll probably make her more money and then she can continue living a pretty breezy life making fitness content every day before her time in the limelight of the fitness industry ends, which it inevitably will, as it does with most people, and she resorts to selling BS meal plans that have probably been pre-made by someone else, hashtag Devon Physique. But again, that's just my opinion and you're entitled to yours. Is she someone I would recommend people go to for fitness information and workout guidance? Absolutely not. Are there worse people than her in the industry? Absolutely. But doesn't mean you should settle with what she's pushing because the reality is it's not that great. And when you're disappointed with your lack of three month transformation, I mean, that's partly because what you've been doing is crap. If you like the video, let me know. I'll do more of them, 120 likes and we'll see what's tickling. And if you haven't already, as nearly half the people watching this channel haven't, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Make a quick YouTube account, slap the red button down below. May not mean a lot to you, but it means a lot to me and it helps the channel out massively. So I would really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Tammy. Let me know whether you've done any of her programs and whether you actually saw decent progress or not. Regardless, I appreciate you tolerating the video.